Let's talk about dynamic partitions, super partition, AB slots with respect to Android custom ROMs and custom recoveries. Now before we get down to business, do note that all the things or all the links from where I got the information are linked in the description of the video in case you want to cross check, read, get more information. I have linked all the links in the description of this video. Ever since I got the Poco X3 Pro and the Poco F3 or the Mi 11X. I started making videos about those and in the comments I get comments like why is there no option to wipe the system and vendor on the Poco X3 Pro? Why do we install TWRP recovery a different way on the Poco F3 or the Mi 11X? So extreme right you have the beloved Poco phone F1, the Poco F1 and in the center we have the Poco X3 Pro and on the extreme right we have the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k for the all of them bootloader unlocked custom recoveries rooted so this here the poco f1 is a normal device as in it has no a b slots it has no dynamic partition it has a recovery partition so if i go into wipe advanced wipe i get the option of system and vendor and data as well when you flash a custom recovery on this you flash it to the recovery partition poco x3 pro is a bit different it has a recovery partition but if you go into wipe advanced wipe you do not get the option of system and vendor why is that that is because this one here has a dynamic partition or what you call a super partition so dynamic partition super partition you can use the term interchangeably and then next up we have the poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 whatever you want to call it let us call it mi 11x for the purpose of this video go into wipe advanced wipe again the same thing you do not have the option of wiping out your system and vendor now this one is a bit different in the respect that it does have dynamic partitions so it does have a super partition however if you go into reboot you will notice that the current slot is mentioned if i go to reboot on the poco x3 pro or say the poco f1 the current slot is not mentioned so the mi 11x is like dynamic plus it also has a b slots for starters let us see what a dynamic partition means so somehow google decided to implement dynamic partition wherein they say any partition which is not required by the bootloader can be moved into a new partition called a super partition so the diagram is on your screen right now source of course is from google's own website now they do mention system underscore a vendor underscore a because the example is from a device with a b slots so poco x3 pro is a device which has no a b slots so in its case it's going to be system vendor product whatever partitions are not required by the bootloader can be moved to a partition called super why are they doing this so that the OTAs your over the year updates can resize the system product dynamically you know in case it is needed why it is needed when it is needed I don't know all those details so which is why if you go into wipe and advanced wipe you do not get the option of mounting your system and vendor why because you have something called a super partition and inside that you have your system vendor and product it is called a dynamic device because you can dynamically change or resize these partitions which are inside the super partition however however this one has a recovery partition which is why when you flash say twrp recovery on this you first do a fast boot flash recovery so recovery is the name of the partition and then you can boot into it this one on the other hand the mi 11x this has a B partitions and it has dynamic partitions as well now because it has a B partition it does not have a recovery partition again because it has a B partitions it does not have a recovery partition now the poco f3 is not like the first device to not have a recovery partition if i remember correctly i think the first google pixel device was the pixel 2 xl so i do have the pixel 2 xl as well and this one also does not have a recovery partition this is a b slots as well so it does not have a recovery partition the recovery is inside the boot partition so boot is like the partition wherein you have the kernel so 
for ab devices the recovery is inside the boot and boot is not part of the super partition so boot cannot be part of the super partition why because it is needed for the first stage in it for the bootloader so any partition which is needed by the bootloader cannot be made a dynamic partition and you know your boot dtbo vb meta are examples of all these so they need to remain as physical partitions now because ab devices do not have a recovery partition the recovery is inside the boot so there are two ways of installing a custom recovery one is the one which you see on the mi 11x right wherein you go into advanced and you say install recovery ram disk the other way is you have a flashable zip which does that so on the pixel 2 xl i think we had a flashable zip which you had to flash after each and every rom flash or say a kernel flash or a rom update why 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 because the recovery is present inside the boot and boot is your kernel and every rom update ota update kernel update new rom flash you are changing the boot partition as in you're flashing it again which is why you have to like repeat the step of installing recovery ram disk until and unless until and unless the kernel has twrp recovery baked in that is the only exception which i can think of when you won't have to go into advanced and perform a install recovery ram disk now has this super partition made life a bit difficult for us enthusiasts yes i think in my humble opinion it has made it a bit difficult because poco f1 was like a beast you know it is still a beast when it comes to custom rom flashing simple and easy but for the poco x3 pro and the mi 11x it is a bit complicated but then again once you get the hang of it once you know what's happening and once you understand what's going on and you have a visual picture then it's just easy and you know it's easy to work around those things instead of blaming the developers for why cannot i flash my mi 11x like i can do on the poco f1 or why cannot i not see the system and vendor on the poco x3 pro again it's not the developer's fault it's something google is changing and before you ask me like why is ab not so consistent across all the devices see that is something which you need to ask google and how they interact with the oems the custom rom developers custom recovery developers have no control over that because they are always trying to adapt to the changes which google makes to android along with their oem partners so i hope my babbling along for almost eight or nine minutes did help you out